Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what file table in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, what the file table? A file table is a unique user table with predefined schema. And here, that is store of file stream data plus file directory hierarchy information and file attributes. And here, file stream has the O3 values 0, 1, 2. So add here 0 that indicate disable file stream, 1 that indicate enable file stream for transaction SQL access and here 2 that indicate enable file stream for transact SQL with or win32 streaming access. Now here after let's go to search and here find configuration manager. Open the SQL Server 2017 configuration manager. Now here after we need to select this option, right click, go to properties. Now here you can find file stream. So we should enable this at here, enable file stream for transact SQL, enable file stream for file IO access, allow remote client access to file stream data. After that we need to click apply and OK. Now here after the next thing is so if you execute to this query so add here here you can find so add here you can find different names and here you find file stream access level so minimum value 0 and here that go to 2 so add here run value 1 so here you it has so 0 1 and 2 values now here after the next thing is so if you execute to this query so by default SP configuration was 0, we need to make that Q, execute this query, so configuration option file stream access level change from 0 to 2. Now here after, so this is the query, there I am going to create add here one database files db and here on primary name f1 file name so this track going to create mdf ldf and fs file so let's go to c track and here going to add one directory the name is server server that i just created there is nothing inside server now here after if you execute this query so add your command completed successfully, refresh the database. Now here you can find files db. So initially there is so files db, there is no any table. Now here after I execute, one more thing first I am going to show you. So when I execute to this query, create database files here, name f2, this all those things. Now here there are three files generated. So add here or uh, ldf and mdf and sf files. So fs is the directory here. So by using file uh, stream or here we can use uh, we can use to generate directory files there. Now here after the next thing is let's create the add here or uh, table. Create table. So add here getting the error masses. So I'm trying to create the uh, this table on master. So we need to select add here files db. Now here after execute this same query. So add your command completed successfully. Refresh this and here after click on plus here you can find files. There is a one table it's a created. Now here click on plus and your columns. So this is the columns inside there. Here you can find case and here constant. This all those things that are created. Now here after right click and here go to properties. Now here after, so this is the general, here name is here database and here this is schema and data. So and here this is the uh, permission and here this is the file table here. So this is the collection t file and here file table namespace enable that true. Now here after the next thing is right click on the database file and here you can find this all detail and here go to option. Now here this is the containment automatic cursor and here this is the file stream. 
So right here, this is the right here, file stream directory name server. So this is the directory name that I just created. And here this is the add here file stream run transaction access that is full. Now here after the next thing is so if you execute this query so here that uh, or display at your database ID everything now here if I execute this query so at here here you can find a non transaction access this is to on files db database and here this is the run transaction access so at here only you can find full at here and other database has all. Now if you select at here normal database, now here go to option and here you can find at here file stream. So at here file stream directory, this is not there anything and here this is off. But at here after creating file stream on database at here, this is indicating at here full. So this is the way we can create database and here table file table in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.